Hello there, it's Dr. Thomas Lancaster here and I just wanted to record a short video to show you how you can use Google to find out what other people are saying about you. And this is very important when you're trying to monitor your reputation on the internet, not purely for egotistical reasons, but because when a potential employer comes to look for you, they're going to be seeing what other people have said about you and how you present yourself professionally and you'll see I'm using Google Chrome and I've got this incognito window just so that it's not saved any information about me because otherwise you're going to be hit by a personalized Google search which won't give you exactly the kind of clean information you want. So the best thing to do is to search for your name inside quotation marks and you'll see the kind of other things that Google thinks might be appropriate search terms such as my name in Birmingham City University, the place I work I don't recognize these other references, they're not directly relating to me, and of course the version without quotation marks. But I'll go with the quotation marks for a more accurate search, and hopefully most of these will be relating to me. So the top match, my main website, thomaslancaster.co.uk. Now, these next matches aren't about me, this is somebody who just happens to have these same two words in their name as part of an email address at Lancaster University, and uh, and another different person here who works at that same university and of course I also can't outrank St Thomas's Church in Lancaster but I'm fairly sure this is my profile on LinkedIn yes it is because I've got that part of the username very important there and that's my Facebook account again directly with my name in there but I'm not the Earl of Lancaster that's one of my official university profiles there at T and most of these photos are mine. That one I don't think is me, and that one I don't recognize either. My official academia.edu profile, you can see the importance of these different social media profiles, and my official Twitter profile, which uses Dr. Lancaster as its username because Thomas Lancaster was already claimed. So you could look beyond that in multiple pages. Another technique that I do like to do is to add either a location, Thomas Lancaster, Birmingham, will hopefully find. Uh, most of me and I think everything on that page is indeed related to me and they all look reasonable sources or to go the whole hog to add the university name which we can get out of that instant search there and in that case the Birmingham City University takes precedence in the search because we'll see these are all these bcu.ac.uk sites as well as my work on contract cheating which links quite heavily to Wikipedia if I highlight the correct link and also the main Birmingham City University page where I do tend to comment on there occasionally and the work I've been doing for the Higher Education Academy with the Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths blog so that's another good way of searching and then finally some of my research at the bottom so the various of the search terms that could be used I quite often use the contract, te contract cheating term as well can, some of the things that are useful worth sharing, changing the location, you don't have to search for yourself within your own locality. If, for instance, you want to know what your American response would be, let's see what people in New York think about me, then that's not quite possible using that technique. But there are plugins you can use and add to both Firefox and Google Chrome which let you do that which perhaps I'll show you in another video the, the other area which is useful is this search by date so we look at the past month and I've been quite heavily working on the STEM blog there so we can see many of those opportunities there and particularly some of the other upcoming workshops that I'm involved with and we don't necessarily need the Birmingham City University part in there, we can just go back to my full name to check that without this errant hashtag in there. So again that's a useful way of just checking and most of these are about me perhaps with exceptions I don't remember being a painter in 1793 and I suspect the Oath of Allegiance there probably wasn't me either which is very similar, yeah 1744 so lots happening in the 18th century but you'll see a number of techniques that employers use to find out more about you and one final thing that might be worth trying is an email address 
So let's see if I was to type in my main professional email address there, then it just comes up with some of my work for the HGA in particular and some contact details for people interested in the contract teaching special interest group. I could of course expand that back to the anytime search and we'd find a lot more details particularly again relating to the contract cheating work and when I've been contacted about that uh, and also a recent job opportunity there but these are clearly about me so if you are looking to find out what people think about you on the internet then use some of these techniques or better still ask a friend to search for you because they'll be more creative in the kind of ways that they they look for you You'll also find a lot of employers directly do a Facebook search as well, which is another way that they can find out more about you. So make sure that the social media information you want is displayed for you when you do one of these searches. Hope that's been useful and thanks for joining me.